Community Feedback. On the Element 14 community, we have a question here from user WXAM, and they're asking, I'd like to make a portable Raspberry Pi. Now, I want to make it with an LCD screen, so I found an unused LCD screen from an ASUS tablet, but it has an LVDS connection, if I'm correct. That means low voltage differential signaling, which is the kind of thing you find on a USB connection, or HDMI. Basically, it's using a fewer number of wires to transmit a lot of data very quickly in a serial manner using differential signaling. So one signal is either higher or lower than the other in voltage, and then they switch places in their voltage. So instead of going from zero to three volts, zero to five volts, or even zero to 1.8 volts, they are, their change is like 0.5 volts, which means they can change faster, which means you can transmit data faster. Is there a way that I can use this ASUS tablet LCD for my Raspberry Pi. Please let me know if I need to buy something or if it just won't work at all. Kind regard, W. Axum, whose real name is Matthew. P.S. Sorry if the sentences are somewhat unclear, I'm Dutch. No, it's very good. I, your English is much better than my Dutch. Well, Matthew, uh, I actually have something laying here on my table that might be of use and I've actually wanted to do an episode about it for a while. So this is a board that we made that attaches to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 3. It uses all of the GPIO. The reason it does that is because there's a, there's a mode you can load up in the Raspberry Pi. It's in the device config or device tree overlay. And it turns the GPIO into a TTL level RGB LCD driver, right? So if you had a LCD screen that had RGB TTL levels on it, like the PlayStation portable screen, you could hook that up here and then set the parameters in your config file and the Raspberry Pi would boot into it. Now you're talking about an LVDS screen. So what you would probably want to get is this. This is a DS90C365A, which is a programmable LVDS transmitter, 18 bit flat panel display link. What this chip does is it takes in your RGB TTL signals, red, green, blue, sync, vsync, dot enable, dot clock, and it encodes those, this one in particular encodes it into a four channel LVDS signal that can be sent to an LCD panel. Uh, yeah, so this is something you might wanna take a look at. It definitely works. It does eat up all of your GPIO, but it allows you to have basically low level control of LCDs without having to use the HDMI interface on your Raspberry Pi. So that is a Texas Instruments DS90C365A. And yeah, it is a surface mount chip, but it's not the most ridiculous surface mount chip. So if you were to use this, you could probably get one of those breakout board adapters, solder this chip to it, and then solder it into your Raspberry Pi. I actually want to do an episode in the future where we talk about uh, device tree overlays and how to configure your Raspberry Pi to work with other LCDs. It might be fun to even try something ridiculous like hooking a Raspberry Pi directly up to a a Game Boy LCD. Yeah, can you imagine seeing all the Linux messages on that thing? Well, anyway, thanks for your question and thanks for being a part of the Elma 14 community. Mm -hmm.